What's the deal, YouTube? It's your boy. Whoa, whoa. My bad, we just got in the garage. But as you can tell by the. Dog, this stabilizer is tripping right now, y'all. I gotta hold on, let me fix this real quick. I put this in the car real quick. But anyway, guys, you can see by the title of the video that video video. But anyway, you see by the title of the video that we are about to head out to this car show right now. All right, you guys, I am. Oh, hold on, hold on. It was all on my face. But I am back, you guys, and yeah. You guys, all you always see all the good stuff. So you know, in YouTube, well, YouTubers, we usually, well, we, I'm just include myself, cause I, I'm getting there. I ain't a, completely a YouTuber yet, but I'm trying to be. So, however, we um, we usually get, they give you guys the good and bad, and I don't know if you guys can tell or not, but previously my car was lowered. It was lowered and everything, man. It was lowered, looking sick, fire. But, you know, one day after work, one day after work, y'all, can y'all say one day after work with me? One day after work, hold on, let me, let me open the mook real quick. Let me open the mook. You had to open the mook a little bit, get a little, get a little airflow in here. But, one day after work, bro, I was tired in the mud, just cruising and stuff, chilling. And, I was tired, y'all, I'm not gonna lie to you, I was tired. I was tired. <laughs> And I completely forgot the car was lowered. I had, oh, I, I, I wouldn't say I was speeding, but because I wouldn't speed over a railroad track or anything anyway. But I was going about normal speed. I had slowed down and everything, but I was going fast enough to 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 feel like, oh snap, bro! I completely forgot. So it was like, boo, boo, boo. I was like, oh, snap, and then right after, I was still trying to gather myself from the uh, the railroad tracks. Literally right after that, bro. I should take out to the street, but that, that street way too far. And I do not want to go down that street again. But, y'all, right after that, I hit a stupid pothole. Stupid pothole, brody. Stupid. And, man, let me tell y'all. It felt like I was in a wreck, bro. I'm like, oh, snap. So, first it was the railroad tracks, and then it was the pothole. I'm like, bro, some guy be messed up. The car drove straight when I went to the house. But, however, I got in the house. I was nervous, shaking up and everything. So, I let myself calm down and everything. But, I'm like, all right, bet. Let me go back outside and look at the car. Like I said, the car drove fine, but... Checked out all the wheels and everything. Check out all the struts. And... Uh, blew a strut. Blew a freaking strut, bro. And it was a front one, too. And if you guys know the sports, these are active dampers. Them struts ain't cheap, y'all. Them struts is not cheap. So your boy, like, I oh, don't know, bro. About that lower life anymore. <laughs> and let me know in the comment section below. For all you other sport owners, did you guys ever get like spring no noises and stuff? And how long did it last if you do? If you did? Because I really want to reload my car, man. Especially after I get wheels. I really want to reload my car. But I want to wait till I want to wait to bag it. But that's going to be a long time, man. Because bags cost big ticket. Ain't nobody really got big ticket cheese right now, so. Yeah, man, let me know if you guys had any spring noises. And with that being said, I might sell my Voglaws, whatever Vodalans, uh springs, and go with a lesser drop. That way I won't be so low. Don't get me wrong, they roll smooth, and the car lower drives insane, bro. It just pulls, y'all, it just pulls. Because usually in most cars, all wheel drive or not, all wheel drive, rear wheel drive, or whatever, it's still a weight transfer. So, that weight transfer was non-existent with the springs, and the car just took off. I'm like, sheesh. But, yeah, man, that's, that's, the, that's the story, you guys. 
That's why my car is not lowered. I know you guys may be looking at uh, some of the pictures, especially the video from MRT. My car was lowered in that video. And I took a bunch of pictures with it on my Instagram. So, if you guys look at my Instagram and see, like, bro, this car was low for a minute. And now it's back up. Yep. Yeah. That's the reason why, you guys. That's the reason why. Just want to keep you guys updated or whatever, you guys. I was too hurt at the moment to get on here and tell y'all. I was too hurt and frustrated. I was going through it, fighting myself. Like, man, I shouldn't have did it in the first place. But when I lowered my Mustang, I had no issues. Cause I, I don't know if it's the shop or whatever that did it. That's why I'm really hoping some, some of you guys from the sport community, hope you guys comment below to let me know. So, cause if it if it wasn't the shop and you know, a lot of uh, a lot of you guys springs doing that, then I'll reinstall them and just let them completely settle. That way, it don't make that noise. That's why I think it was making a noise or whatever. It didn't make it all the time. It's just like when I went over certain bumps and stuff, but on the freeway, no noises at all. So, but only like certain bumps, like some hard bumps and stuff. You can hear like the springs compression, like shh. Sh but like I said, let me know, hit me up in the comment section below or on my Instagram. Please, please, please let me know because I got the springs in the garage. But if I don't install them, I might just sell those, like I said, and get some steel springs. I don't know if the steel springs are better, but I doubt they're better because Voglog is, Voglog is a proven company. A lot of people run them. But I just don't want to be that low, especially in Michigan, man. That, that's just, it's just not where it's at, bro. I'm not trying to blow another truck, bro. That joint is expensive to fix. So, let me know, guys. But I will hit you guys back in a minute once I get to the car show. All right, y'all. We had to meet. We here early, though. But I just want to give y'all some content while it's still light out here. I think his is lower. I got to get re-lowered, bro. I have to get re-lowered because, look. Look at his. Kind of stock though. That's how mine was when it was lowered. And look at mine. Sitting high as hell. High as hell. But. Still look fire in my opinion. Still look better. Yeah, I got I got to re-lower mine. I got to re-lower mine. Cheers. All right, y'all see my car. Let me show y'all what's out here. Got a little Miata out here. Big boy out here. That's a Q50. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. A little Q50 out here. Got a slam Honda. A little Civic Civic thing. Now, you know the Mopar community always come out strong with it. Mopar boys, boys. We're not going to be here long. Probably pull out once. Squad get here. Fusion Squad. Let me know which one's y'all the favorite. Which Mopar is the favorite. Just more Mopar boys. They always come out deep. You got the little trucks. Yeah. No oh, no, you already here. <laughs> I sent your message like, no. <laughs> no I was replying to you right now. Oh. <laughs> so my bad, I was talking to Don. Dang, make scrape boys. <laughs> Got a little Subi right here in the MKZ. Chilling. Eco Boost. Where we came from, boys. Old school saying. Pro Charge Vet. You can hear that thing. Mustang. Vert. Let's see what's all done to this. It's the turbo. Shoosh. Let me out of boy. Oh, somebody just heard up. <laughs> Sweet boy. I got the stabilizer, but I didn't feel like. Didn't feel like grabbing it. Beamer boy. Is that Kev? Is that Kev? <laughs> Got an ST on here. Sheesh. Shoosh. Boy, boy, look at that. Look at the caliber behind her, y'all. 
my mind. Let me get out the way. That thing on the ground. What gap? This thing is sick, bro. See, I need a filming camera and a pho photography camera because I will for sure be shooting this thing up. Look how clean this thing is. If it be a black car, this thing is clean. See, that's when I have this fork. I'm just paid off and just do crazy, stupid stuff to it. Fifty. Classic JDM. Gotta respect the JDM. These seat belts are so cool. Think the seat belts go like down and they roll back up. Think so sick. Oh damn. 3000 GT, bro. So rare. Dang. Yeah, he said, oh, good. Big gutted. Big gutted. Mine was the original. Sorry, sorry. I'm like simple. I'm very simple when it comes to the Shoosh. I don't think so. Oh, yeah, no. Still a classic, though. I'm going to wait till the squad pull up and more cars come. Right now, it ain't that many. But I'm sure you guys will slam me out of real quick, too. Hold on. Hey, dope shot, though. Dark the night lighting. He but anyway you guys some more people pulled up so do one more walk around. Chris pulled up too Dom around here somewhere. But look at the F250 though with the rock lights. Whoosh. And I'm we got a pro charge marrow back there. I know some of y'all like them old school classics. I'm gonna probably wait till you pop the hood or whatever. But look at like bro, nothing like a truck, bro. Should I get a truck? And then it's bag that and just go nuts on it? Or what, man? What should I do? I don't know, man. If I get a truck, I'm gonna probably wanna get a Bronco though. I ain't gonna cap. But I don't know, we'll see. What up, Dom? Here go Dom. You good? Chris went gonna get his um his Mustang. <laughs> yeah, a little five slow. Five point slow, say no. <laughs> Are you off? All right, y'all, Dom pulled up. We got the 18 Cali Special out yeah, here. you should uh, pull up to the, uh, the... I don't know. I, I kind of miss... I don't know, man. I'm The weekend car. kind of miss it. But it had to be a weekend car. I can't I can't daily another Mustang, bro. Cannot daily another Mustang. It got to be put up. Yo, so, so we start doing races... I don't, I don't really know about that because I don't really know about the spots and stuff, but that'd be interesting. Oh, Chris gonna go crazy for this mug right here. Uh, yeah. Uh, Fox I'll, body. Hold on, I'll do, I'll do, Big uh, Daddy Fox. Yeah, cool. I also want to race the stock 10 speed too. I want to see how I do, how I do against it. Look, y'all, y'all ain't never seen this before. Stinger, Lambo doors. Change the lights. <laughs> hey, this car always be around here, bro. He always be around here. This, bro. Bro. Shush. Justin out here. What? Those? I don't like them, bro. Yeah, his wheels fire, bro. He went gusto with them boys. And them brakes cleaning them up. I want this, bro. I need this. So that'd be the last piece of the arrow kit. Last piece of the arrow. Yeah, I got that. I got the little things on the side, the little skirts. Just that. That and wheels. That's it. I gotta get wheels, bro. That lip go brazy, bro. That lip go brazy. Yeah. You can't even see it. Yeah. Y'all already know where that came from. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That mug drip, though. All right, Justin, I see you. 
Oh, this. Oh, he debashed it. I want to say it's an A3. Oh, it's an S3. It's an S3. Are you taking a shot? No. Nah. Vlogging. It look clean as hell with no badge on it, man. Look at the roof, bro. That's the. Bro, look at the. That's why I like Audi so much, bro. Oh, that's a slide back for it? No. It's, I think it's slide back and it come up, the little tilt. I think the whole roof come back there. Oh, this is impressive. Different, you don't see them. Yeah, that's especially at the smaller meets. Surprise the boys didn't show up yet. Bro, these things are so rare, bro. But they cost so much money to make hella horsepower them things. They different, you don't really see them that much either. 340s. Bike life. <laughs> I small. Wait on down. Chris might do a little pull out right here. Bro, it was like five police tow trucks that came up. We had to get up out of there. For sure, for sure. Hold on, Chris, right here. I see you, bro. I see you doing that thing. <laughs> doing that thing. All right, y'all. This is the first vlog coming from the office. Hold on. Let me, let me get the light on. Let me get the one on. All right, what's up, y'all? We, I am back from the, from the meeting now, bro. I'm sorry if I recorded anything at the well, at the meeting because it got crazy. So pretty much Chris had noticed in the background. That got it was a Home Depot parking lot, so I guess it was like private property or whatever. So, bro, so all of a sudden, like three tow trucks pulled up. No, first it was one tow truck. It was like, all right, cool. But then another one came. We was like, oh, I don't know what's going on here. And three pulled up at the same time. Then it said police towing. We was like, no, nah, bro, it's time to get up out of here. So we booked out of there. And Don was taking a photo. He, he was like, bro, Don, come on, let's go, bro. We got to get up out of here. And me and Chris booked it out of there. And then we told Justin, but all the, everybody that we knew, we told, hey, get up out of there because somebody go down. So I think that happened because it was private property, though. But who knows? But anyway, guys, stay tuned to the next vlog. Thanks for watching this, for watching this vlog. See you guys in the next one. Wait. I almost forgot. See, I, I, I always went on this in every vlog, bro. But don't ever forget Trust God, never lose faith, because he'll never lose faith and trust in you. Yes. Also, since y'all made it this far to the end of the video, to the end of the video, let me know if y'all want to want an office tour. Because your boy about to start gaming and starting the gaming channel. Well, I got the gaming channel already. It's in the description below, but it's going to be Michigan's own gaming, because that is my gaming tag or however. But we going on there too. We better try to take this thing at every, every, every point. We gonna make it somehow or some way but anyway guys yep so let me know in the comment section below if you guys would want to see a full office video for office tour or whatever but see you guys in the next one peace